Back on the program is Dr. Orly Tate. She is an attorney, a real estate agent, and a dentist, considered by many to be the queen of the birther movement. Orly, you know, we spoke very shortly after the re-election of President Obama, and at the time I emailed you and I asked you, because I'm on your newsletter, what happens now with the birther movement and challenging President Obama's eligibility? At the time you said, I'm not sure yet. What what is your decision? Does the fight continue to show President Obama to be in, ineligible to be U.S. president? Sure. Uh, not only uh, not eligible to be the U.S. president, by, but committing really serious crimes. Hmm. Uh, now we have received more information. We're suing Obama not only uh, as not being eligible, but also being involved in RICO, in a racketeering conspiracy together with the uh, Commission of Social Security, Director of uh, Health uh, Registrar in Hawaii, Alvin Anaka. No, but Orly, uh, let but- me... We've seen a few pieces of evidence, but I want to you said two things you said at the beginning. And this is really my focus. Not only is President Obama not eligible to be president, but he's also committed serious crimes like racketeering. Let me temporarily just temporarily separate the two and focus on the ineligible to be president. On what basis is he ineligible to be president, separate from the fact that he's committed all of these crimes that you point out? Because. Well, those things are actually intertwined because oh, they are. He, he got in the position of the U.S. president committing flagrant fraud and using forged and stolen ideas. Flagrant <laughs> fraud. Yes, and it's the same as E-Verify. There are two governmental agencies they mm. check. And here it shows that the Social Security number that Barack Obama is using was not assigned to him. Early, let me fact- slow you down just a bit because you're going to start losing the audience with, with it. So... We have an unflattened PDF and yes. also we have a social security number that doesn't exist. So that's the case, essentially, for President Obama no, being no, ele- ineligible. Oh, oh, no, there are, there are more. There's more evidence than that. OK. Uh, first, as I said, uh, this this is there. This is Barack Obama's tax return. OK. And it shows the social security number that Barack Obama himself entered in his tax returns. This social, this is a Connecticut social security number that flat, that, uh, that failed both SSNDS and E-Verify. Okay. Moreover, it failed E-Verify. Now, now we got information uh, uh, that this social security number, uh, it, uh, you know, uh, I am working with multiple investigators. Where did it come from? Yeah. And we found the individual. We have reports from several licensed investigators showing that the social security number was issued uh, originally to a gentleman who was born in 1890. And actually, we found he was an, a Jewish immigrant from Russia. Go and figure. I, um, in his census, it shows him be, being married but not having any children. So when he passed away um, uh, in... Um, Right. There wouldn't be anybody alive to say, hold on a second. That's my father's social. It's perfect in a sense. Right. That's why you would pick that number. Exactly. Exactly. And usually that's what is done. So now uh, I'm working through different channels. I think let me stop you there because there's so much evidence we've got. We've gotten into some of it, but I have to just get a few more questions in here. Number one, I know that you always want to talk about the evidence. Where do you believe President Obama was born? Well, it doesn't matter what do I believe. But it matters to me, Orly. You always say this. To me, nothing matters more than where you think he was born. Okay. What? Okay. Let me let me respond, and I will give you the best uh, response possible. I'm not important. I'm a nobody. Barack Obama. Orly, you're the queen of the birther movement. (laughs) Thank you. But in his own biography, submitted by Barack Obama himself. To his own publisher, he wrote, born in Kenya, raised in Indonesia. And you can see not only uh, this uh, article and biography that Obama himself provided, but also you can you can see the full transcript of the session of the uh, assembly of the Republic of Kenya. So do you believe that that's based on that you believe President Obama was born in Kenya? Is that fair to say? Well, based on the fact that all of the copies, but so any, early, so you believe uh, that based on the evidence, you believe it's, no, that. No, it's not, it's not what I believe. Forget what I believe. What early, I, believe I only care about what you believe. That's why we're no, doing but, this interview. But, you know, what is important? 
important is where is the truth? The truth is there are no original documents. Hawaii <laughs> didn't release original birth certificate. Yeah. Uh, the, the, here, Director of Health. But Orly, I, Orly, Orly, Orly. Let, let me say, if you didn't believe any of this stuff was true, you wouldn't be on this this investigation, right? So you must believe President Obama was born in Kenya. Otherwise, you, this would be a huge waste of your time, would it not? Uh, as, as I say, David, nice try, but my beliefs are completely irrelevant. But Orly, you're <laughs> acting like I'm trying to trick you into telling us just no, casually well, what you so, think. That's David, what the interview is about. What does Orly Tate think? David, I, I believe that we have to have a legitimate president. <laughs> I and know we all believe that, don't we? A selective service certificate with a flagrantly forged stamp. Uh, Orly, don't stamp. you think if it was yes, forged, sir. don't you think if it was forged, People would have been smart enough to forge it with the right number of, of digits? Uh, because uh, what they did, and as a matter of fact, um, <laughs> they, both the chief investigator of the U.S. Coast Guard and a number of individuals have, have found multiple problems. And the way and the reason it, it is forged, what they did, they took hmm. the, the stamp, they cut it, they cut it in half, they used okay. the 2008 stamp and inverse and, and put 80. And, and you know, there's but, something Orly, else. But, but um, let's just talk, let's just talk. Um, uh, you, you know, uh, uh, analytically here, don't you think if it was a forgery, there would be a better way to forge it than inverting a 2008 stamp? Well, you know, uh, uh, let me tell you something. And people ask me this question. And, uh, you know, Obama do cannot uh, do uh, put an ad saying, I'm looking for the best forger available. He can't. So <laughs> he has to use whatever he has. He got a subpar and forger. And, and, and each and every document we have shows signs of forgery. You know, let me let me tell you something. When the uh, Boston bomber was contacted by his friends and uh, and asked, well, I'm sure the one, and, and he said, LOL, laughing out la loud. When the guy I I in Cleveland that who was arrested recently for his crimes was asked, and he responded, LOL, laughing out loud. And when Obama was asked, well, why are you using forged ideas? You know, his response is the fact that LOL, laughing out loud. So you're but likening President Obama, if I understand, to the Boston bomber and the Ohio no. hostage taker who had three women strapped in shackles in his basement for a decade. That's the likening uh, you're doing. No, don't, you know, and that's why I was very hesitant uh, in giving you an interview because you're twisting what I'm saying. No, Orly, I'm I just saying, repeated it. I just repeated no, what you said, Orly. No, what, what I'm saying that when you when you confront any criminal, any criminal, Obama is not the only one. If when you confront any criminal and ask him, well, can you provide an explanation to this? His, uh, this question is, oh, laughing out loud, you know, why, you know, couldn't I find a better forger? No, I, I need a specific answer. Yeah, okay, okay, Orly, all right. Uh, well, let, let me, I want to, I want to get, the documents are there. Why do you think it's taken so long to get Obama kicked out of office for being ineligible. Like, what will will you be able to do it before his presidency is over? I'm I'm very hope hopeful, as you know. We have now Benghazi. You know that in 1932 there were thousands of highly educated judges in Germany, and not one single judge found actions of Otto Hitler to be unconstitutional or uh, illegal. So but when, again, when again, uh, likening President Obama to Hitler, I don't know if it's going to going to be influential to too many people. I don't know if you're going to get people behind I, you what, with that. What I, what I want people to do is start thinking because people are saying, well, why judges are not doing anything? No, well, answer just as there are no answers in the entirety. Well, yeah. who, told the, 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 who told General Ham and other high ranking officers? Well, that's another story altogether. Exactly. Dr. Orly Tate, Dr. Orly Tate, I want to try to we've gone we've given you twice as much time as we promised. I want to try to finish on a positive note. You are, of course, a renowned dentist. Is it better to floss in the evening or in the morning? <laughs> Best thing, floss wise, you know, just you have to be sure what you're doing. Just uh, extra protection to be on the safe side. And for the same reason with Obama, I want this nation to be safe. And in order for this nation to be safe, okay. we need answers. We need to see all the original ideas of Barack Obama. And do you do you recommend wh uh, whitening toothpastes? <laughs> 
Uh, well, you know, no, uh, no specific company is paying me for advertisement. So, uh, you know, I don't want to advertise one specific company or another. Fair enough. So, um, I think that choose. that's respectable. We've been speaking with Dr. Orly Tate. She is an attorney. She is a real estate agent. She is also a dentist. Okay. Uh, th thank you so much for being here. I encourage everybody to go to your website, e explore all of the evidence and judge for themselves. That's all we can really ask of people. Thank you. Thank you.